Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 10th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we've had a couple M class solar flares to talk about and multiple coronal mass ejections that have been heading our way and are still on their way. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, observing now the cresting imagery coming into view. We have 10 Earth-facing sunspot regions and another large sunspot region turning into view, not including the very large one that we've been talking about this past week. Looking at last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we saw a few coronal mass ejections from that sunspot region, very active sunspot region. Showing here the last 48 hours of events on our sun, M-class solar flares, and a very minor X-class solar flare as well. Lots of plasma shots and coronal mass ejections. So solar storms and auroras are on their way to our planet right now and are affecting us right now. Looking at multi-spectrum here, the last 48 hours of events pointing out in the northern hemisphere of the sun, a large coronal hole region which is turning into view. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Just another way to see our sun safely. Thank you all for tuning in and pressing play. Please don't forget to smack the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And thank you so much for almost 79,000 followers. Observing here, 10 sunspot regions. Let's have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. There's that massive sunspot that is Earth-facing right now. And we've got another large one turning into view on the left-hand side there. Amazing images here. Shared with daily events worldwide. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, moderate radio, moderate radio blackout impacts expected. Limited blackout of high-frequency radio. Solar winds are coming in at 387 kilometers per second right now. Notable is the radio flux. Solar flux, 291 SFU. That's what brings up that radio blackout. Solar X-ray flux showing here. A couple M-class solar flares and, as I said, a minor X-class solar flare, proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity is low again. Expected space weather tonight, 9th into the 10th, so it's been happening all day. One, two, three coronal mass ejections thwarted our way from the sun. This is the Space Weather Prediction Center. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth. There is the space weather storms or solar storms heading our way, impacting now and into late of the 12th of August. Having a look here at the most recent ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off towards Mercury, which Mercury is about to go retrograde, which means in between the sun and earth over the next three days. So watch for an uptick in seismicity. Sharing here, LASCO 3, broad spectrum view here, showing the last four days of coronal mass ejections leaving our sun. And as I said, and noted, they are heading our way now. This is showing from the 6th to the 10th. And I appreciate all of the love and Birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Amazing images here. And thanks again for watching. Let's have a quick earthquake update. As we did start off the day with a pretty sizable earthquake in Russia, eastern Russia, 6.5 magnitude earthquake, Dolinsk, Russia at a 406 kilometer depth. Pretty rare region for an earthquake. Tatayama, Japan with a pretty deep earthquake. And then a couple deep earthquakes here in the Fiji region, 516 kilometer depth, notable earthquake, Macquarie Island, 
region, 5.0 magnitude. And as well, we had an eruption at the White Island Volcano in New Zealand. Loyalty Islands, 5.2. Overlooking Indonesia, Western Indonesia, Sinabang with a 4.4 off the coast there. Afghanistan, 4.4. Iran 4.3, 4.8 there, Greece, and as well a 4.4, Romania, Bata, Romania. Another rare earthquake, and another rare earthquake here off the tip of Greenland, 4.4, or 4.5 magnitude earthquake. South American plate, very quiet today, only reporting one 4.2 in Chile. Central America, pretty quiet as well. United States. And notable activity all around California right now. And up into Alaska, minor seismicity. But having a look at USGS, as they're only reporting 219 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. That is definitely down from the earthquake swarm that we saw the other day. Right here, which is still going on at Lamont, California. They're still reporting about 43 earthquakes in the region. Looking at the last seven days, they reported almost 500 or over 500 earthquakes. Lamont, California. Got to wonder what's going on there, folks. That is the tip of the California basin. And then having a look here, the last seven days, lots of activity across Western Canada and into the Pacific Northwest. I'm sorry, Western United States and the Pacific Northwest. Now let's have a look at the last seven days on our globe for all you flat earthers out there. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. If you do live in an earthquake prone zone, please just be ready. That's what this channel is all about. Staying aware and prepared. Have a plan and be ready. Largest earthquake this week, 7.2 Japan and then 6.5 off the coast of Eastern Russia just today. Lots of activity. Uh, Pacific Ring of Fire right now. Heads up Hawaii and up into Alaska. Still expecting something big here over the next few days, especially with the Mercury retrograde coming right now. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com showing weather forecast for the next few days. High pressure ridge across the United States. Low moving in. That is set to bring in some extreme weather throughout the week. And as well, interesting low pressure system moving in over parts of northern Canadian prairies. Two of them in the long range. We could see some big changes here. We also have a tropical depression here that will be forming in the long range forecast. Set to hit Puerto Rico and then head straight north. That's the forecast up until Thursday as it heads straight into the central of the Atlantic. Another storm there just north of east, east of it, and they're both going to scoot northeastward towards Europe. Watch for an extreme weather event across central United States and then moving into Ontario for the 15th into the 16th. Very strong low-pressure system here through Kansas City. Overlooking Europe, strong low-pressure systems Eastern Europe will be sweeping away. Then watch for a strong Atlantic low to graze parts of Ireland and head up towards Greenland and then circle through the North Atlantic. Tropical depressions will be coming towards Ireland in the or towards Ireland in the long range Atlantic forecast. So heads up everybody. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa couple typhoons to possibly be aware of for Japan. Other than that, no major extreme weather events here to report or anomalies. And then here overlooking the Pacific Ocean, huge high pressure ridge still locked in along the coast. Sending all of these low pressure systems through the Pacific up and over Alaska and then down into the Canadian prairies. It's going to be a long winter, folks. I do believe things are setting up to be very strange. Now let's have a look at our polar vortex 
currently, this is the southern hemisphere, as I showed it last week, there seem to be almost three vortexes. But right now, we're still looking at an oblonged uh, polar vortex in the southern hemisphere right now. So during our summer months, southern hemisphere is in full-on winter, and this is the polar vortex for the southern hemisphere right now. And it, it does change every so often, every year. It does look different. But there are some dramatic changes happening right now, especially when you look at the equatorial winds, notable across the Pacific, across the Atlantic. There's our North Pole showing our polar vortex as it is not very defined or strong right now. But these are our winds right now, upper level winds. Let's go back to 2023 and see what things looked like. So 2024, 2023, 2024 and 2023. Some big changes evident on our planet, folks. And I want to thank you all for being a part of this channel and community. Much love to you all. And please stay safe and healthy. Subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hit that notific notification bell so you don't miss an update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.